Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to Sussex Farms. I hope all is well with you. We have a list of things we need to get done today. As you can see, we have straw to pick up over there. We just harvested all of our fields. I think we've sold everything but the soybeans, which I believe we're going to do very, very shortly. It is going at a ridiculous price of $4,000 per thousand liters. Let's get out of there. Let's hop in here and get this moving. So we're going to go get this sold. We got a little bit more left in the harvester there. This should help us out as far as cash goes. We'll get all of this sold. Then I want to run around and pick up the straw, pick up the hay. I don't have hay. I don't know what I'm talking about. No hay. I have straw. I have grass. And the grass, we want to put in a silo and see about uh, making us some silage for sale. Now, I also want to run around and check up on the greenhouses because I know that at least the one at this farm is out of water and when it doesn't have any water it is not making product which means it's not making us any money at all let's pull in here and see how much we're gonna get well we should get about 21 times 4 should be about 80,000 yeah you probably hear my cat she, Cuddles is her name. She's a good kitty cat. She's kind of a, you know, she's a cat. She <laughs> it's all about her. That's all she cares about. And we get 85 grand. Hot diggity dog. We will take that. Okay, let's zip over here and we are going to go ahead and see. I just found this the last episode that I can zip right through here. Very nice. Okay, so let's get up here. Let's collect the rest of our harvest. And then I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the water trailer. I've been leasing it. I hate to lease. It just seems like such a waste of money. Whoa. All right. Then we can go check up on all of the greenhouses. Get those squared away. I know the one here at my farm, it doesn't need poo, it just needs water. But we'll check the rest of them and uh, get those producing money. I think the previous day we made like $74,000 off of just the greenhouses. That is a pretty good return on your money per day. That is pretty good. And then there's a grass field, you can see it off in the distance. I do not know how much grass we're going to get off of it, but it should it should turn into quite a bit of cash once we turn it into silage. No crashy crash. All right. And now I have been doing just silage bales, but I thought you know let's buy another field. Let's let's try to go a little bit bigger just a wee bit bigger all right it's money is going up are we gonna hit over the 300 uh oh so close so close so close oh well well that's our last chance until the next harvest because now all i'm gonna do is probably spend money find something you're good at stick with it that's what i've always heard <laughs> And spending money, I'm uh, I'm good at that. That's uh, no doubt. In this game, I never seem to have enough. All right, let's drop that off. Okay, let's go ahead. You know, and I do not know what that is. Is that uh, for making fertilizer? I think, maybe. I don't know. If you know, go ahead and uh, let me know. If you know what that is, because I do not. All right, let's go in here. 
Uh, we need animals. There's animals. Hit the, there it is. And let's just go. I think that's the cheapest water trailer we got, isn't it? Well, well, that's cheaper, but I don't have the truck for it. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this guy here. And we'll buy it. Yes, okay. And there it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this guy filled up. And we're going to go uh, doing a rounds on the greenhouses. Well, we got greenhouse number one at least filled up with water. Now we're going to go ahead and make our rounds and check on the other greenhouses. I would assume that they are in a similar state as far as dehydration goes. I did look at the poo in that one and we were like 87% which seems to be pretty good. But while we're at it we'll check the rest of these and see see where we sit how much uh, how much poo we got how much whoa now is that how I get to those greenhouses I can't remember I think it is let's go uh, let's go check it out because I think this is how I get there but I could be completely mistaken and going the wrong oh wait those are greenhouses look at that I was correct and I do not see any plant life in there so obviously we need a little bit of something we do have come on give me the there it is all right that ought to help let's hop out and see 87 percent oh it stopped okay oh it stopped because I don't have uh, where I have to turn the tractor on and off. So I need to go in and change those settings. Alright, so we have two of the three taken care of. Now I need to sit back, grab some more water, and go to number three. Get that guy taken care of. And I think we're going to be fine for poo. So alright, I'll see you in a second. Well, that was a job well done. So those guys are all taken care of. They're all at the same 87% for our manure, which is uh, pretty good. That should last us, I would say, until tomorrow. Now we will head up here, and I think we need to get ourselves a loading wagon of some sorts. I don't think we need a massive loading wagon, but we definitely want one that is, you know, not going to, not the smallest probably, but we definitely don't need anything monstrous. We don't have any fields that are that darn big. So, all right, we'll get up here, get back to the farm, put this guy away, and then we'll take a look and see what we're going to need let's uh, zip through all right little first person's never bad all right okay we're almost back we're gonna put this guy away and then we will find us a loading trailer okay now that he is put away or she i should say uh would that be where would oh that'd be under loading wagons that's where that would be See, I think that guy is just too small. He's not bad, but man, oh man. Uh, it jumps from 46, 80. I tisk, tisk, tisk. I just don't know. I think that guy is just too small. 34, 35 for 20,000. I don't have anything like, well, we won't use that. That's a little cheaty. We'll go back this way just a bit. You know, I think I'm just going to go with the Bergman here. It's a little bit more, but it's okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just lease that guy. I don't, I'm don't. i not ready to buy him yet. All right, let's go back. Where's he? There he is. All right. And clink. 
So I think I am going to start with the grass so that we can get that starting to ferment. I think that is the way to go. Let's lower that, lower that. Oh, not so fast. Let me get up here before I turn that on. All right. This should not take us long. And I am trying to decide, do I want to go ahead and get cows? I am thinking that we should get some cows so that they can produce the manure so that we can make money uh, on the greenhouses. And we don't have to buy any. I know that's probably actually not going to make us money that way. Probably be cheaper just to buy the manure. You know, I'm thinking that maybe this tractor does not have enough uh, behind behind it. <laughs> Woo. So one pass gave me 20,000 liters. Well, something tells me that this loading wagon is going to equate to a whole lot of trips back and forth, which is a good problem to have. It is. But maybe I should have used the slightly modified trailer just to help out a wee bit. But I, I don't have one. I don't have an any installed. So I guess that's a big old negative. We are going to suck it up and do it the old fashioned way. So let's zip up here and start filling our silo. Come on, Bessie. You can do it. Oh my goodness gracious. I thought this was my big tractor. I might be mistaken. I might. Now I'm thinking about the next uh, crop. I'm just going to do all canola. And uh, just do all canola and be done with it. Okay, let's go ahead and unload here. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Yeah, we'll make it. I usually make like three lines. And uh, I start, once I have a full trailer, I come back again. Then I like to compact when I have the full trailer. It seems to work. Why didn't I go this way? Because I is not very smirk. That is why I didn't go this way. Now I know. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Well, replace that gate. I've just done it. Let's lower it. And I'll go ahead and gather up this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and get this field collected. And then we'll have to zip over and get the other, our new grass field. Get it taken care of. We'll get it all compacted. And uh, I'll probably see you when I get to the next field. I'll go ahead and get this one taken care of. And then I'll talk to you when we get to the next one. Okay, we got that one done. Which turned out pretty good. I think we got a little bit over three trailer loads full out of that guy. And that's uh, pretty good. What I do? There we go. There we go. I'll get it all figured out one of these days. But we got, uh, yeah, I think it was like 108,000 liters off of that field. And I think this field is a little bit bigger than that so hopefully i'll get maybe four or five trailer loads that would be okie dokie with me so i think what we're gonna do is let me just go ahead and we will get this guy taken care of then we need to run over and do something with our straw I believe I'm just going to put that in a silo because if I am going to 
get some cows that I'm going to need straw anyway. So I might as well take it and stick it in the silo in preparation for our uh, next venture as far as the cows go. Or whatever animal. I don't think... Uh, well, I know. Chickens don't need it. But I believe pretty much everything else does. I don't know. Do sh I don't think sheep do at all, do they? They just need grass. Just need grass and lots of it. Okay. Let's zip, turn around, turn. Come on, baby. Nice turning radius on this thing. And that should fill it up. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this field. Oh, let me get that. I didn't get it quite full. There it is. And I will not bore you with the details of me driving up and down that field. If I knew how to do a speedy, I would do a time lapse, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, I've tried a couple of times, and uh, evidently, editing software is not my forte. I'm uh, much better at driving a tractor than running that darn software. But we'll figure it out eventually. We'll get there. Okay, I will see you in just a few. I did want to show you... When I'm doing silage, everybody has their own way, but I like to go through and take the full trailer. If you can take that, well, that's already compacted, but if you can take a full trailer once you get a little bit in there, you take that full big heavy trailer and you start running over that silage, it compacts it so nice and then you dump it and you got a little compacting to do the next time you come through. But it just seems to go really well for me anyway. I do just a little bit every time I come through with a new trailer full. And that way I'm always on top of it. And at the end of it you don't have 10 minutes worth of driving up and down, up and down. Your silage bunker. That's all. I just wanted to kind of share a little tidbit with you. Like I said, everybody has their own way that works best for them. So, all right. That was it. That was all I wanted to say. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish that field. And there we go. Both grass fields are collected. Look at that. Oh, look. No problem. Get through that intersection without getting smashed. We've uh, got it almost all compacted, which shouldn't take long with this guy. And then we will go around and get all of our straw collected, thrown in our silo. I was thinking about doing a second harvest before I cover this up, but I think... Uh, come on, baby. There it is. There it is. I think I'm just going to cover this thing up and call it call it done I think uh, the cash will be very nice of course it's not compacting very well my trailers not full so it doesn't really compact very well with an empty trailer but it does all right it does just fine it doesn't take too long that is a fact just take it, keep it, smooth it out. Alright, let's uh, throw this over here on this side a little bit. Dump it out. Kind of keep it moving. I think this will be plenty. What did we end up with? 223, 24,000 liters. That should be... That should be quite a chunk of change. Let me finish this compacting here and we'll take a quick look and see what silage is going for. All right, so let's pull out of here. Let's pull this up and silage is right there. Well, it's down 753. That's the cargo ship. Where's the BGA? Where is the BGA? There it is. 
Holy cow, $1,200. So that's over $200,000 that we're going to get off of that. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Just dandy for right now. Blanket. Did I get it all? Yeah, look at that. Not too shabby. I hate it when it leaves a little bit out of the ends. Okay, don't do that. There it is. Okay, so now I'm going to hurry up and get all of our straw picked up, put in a silo. I want to get some planting done, but I'm running out of time. Holy cow, the day has just flew by. So let me get this taken care of, and then we'll start to get our planter fired up. There we go. All of the straw is done and in the silos. I did not even look at how much straw I had. Let's take a quick take a quick look here. What did we end up with? 183,000. Very nice. Very nice. We will take that for sure. So now what I need to do is garage and return that guy there we don't need him anymore uh, but we do need a cedar a cedar a cedar my kingdom for a cedar all right now let's just take a quick look what all do we got that is ridiculous how many meters is that? That's six meters. Oh, I think those are pull behinds. It does do fertilizer, but it does. Wait, what is that? Oh, does it also, is it a cultivator cedar? I don't know. I've never used that one. I usually use this horse which is a nine meter or this one which is a six how much is that to lease five grand i think i think i think oh what do i want to do i think we're just going to lease it i wanted to buy it i really really wanted to buy it because i just bought it I don't like to lease because I think it's just a waste. And there it is. And now I hope, I hope this tractor has the butt. Let me see here. Go to garage owned. And that gives me how much horsepower right there. 250. That's pretty good. And 310. So I think either one should be just fine for this. All right, let's back up and pick This does look a little bit big for this tractor, but it seems to be pulling it. I guess time will tell. We'll zip over here and try to fill up as much as we can here. Let's see what we got. I don't know that we're going to get all of the field taken care of today, but at least if we can get started on it, that's going to be something. I'd like to at least get started. Turn, 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 turn. There it is. All right. This should do pretty good. That has to be a full one. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to give us plenty just to at least get started here. All right. Zipping up, zipping up. Here we go. Let's drop that thing down. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Simmer down, Junior. Simmer down. Close the top. Drop it. Turn it on. This is my, by far my favorite, my favorite cedar right here. It fast farms. It's a decent size. It's not massive, but it's not baby either. 
All right. So we are going to go ahead and get this taken care of. And it's looking like I'm not going to be able to get cows until the next time. Because I believe I am running out of time here. It is just going by way too fast. Way darn too fast. Let's get it. There it is. This shouldn't take us very long. We're going to bang this guy out. We've got three fields. 35 is our big one. That's going to take a few minutes, but we're going to have to get our uh, harvester out of there. It's still sitting over there in the middle of the field. Because I am a slob. Shut her down. Spin this bad boy around. Yeah, this doesn't have any too much horsepower. It's not like it's just pulling this like it's nothing. Okay, so I'm get, let's just set the worker. Oof, he slows himself right down, doesn't he? Okay, so we got that guy going. And I think I'm going to run over or zip over. What's that one? That's the New Holland. That's the one I should probably be using is the New Holland. With that being done and said and everything else, faux show. Sure. I believe this is going to be a day. I want to thank you for uh, for watching. And please, you know, let me know what you think. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, let me know. Tell me. I, I, have, uh, I have thick skin. I don't think you're going to hurt my feelings. So that's, that's just fine. But everybody, have yourselves a great day. And be safe. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye now.